Hey guys, it's me, Carl Santos, aka Carl95, and I'm gonna do a ra racing game that will come out next Friday, May 28th, 2021. So, as you can see, there's a uh, early snapshots or screenshots of this racetrack that's taking place at, I believe, Stafford Speedway. It says all Amer yeah, all American 500, and I'm gonna predict it's Stafford Speedway. So it has Tony Stewart in the background, along with Helia Castro Nevis and an unknown driver in in the screenshot. So as you can see, it'll be an exciting game for all you race fans that'll be willing to, you know. Play the game on Xbox, PlayStation, and Steam. So, hope you guys like play a little bit of it. And if you guys are, are avid race fans, try to out the career mode. So, I'm gonna split the, my segments in two parts. The first part will be which rack race tracks will be in the game, and then the second part will be which of the 16 drivers that were confirmed in the game will be mentioned as we move forward so I'm looking at a source right now from NBC Sports and you know Ray Abraham and Tony Stewart figured out which of the six racetracks will be well suited to those that are inexperienced in ovals and dirt tracks alike so let's begin so June 2012 will be at Stafford Motor Speedway which is quite a good racetrack. This is located in Connecticut. And, you know, Ryan Priest may uh, actually compete, even though he's not in the game. So, in the set for, for June 19th is Knoxville Raceway, a really good dirt track for Kyle Larson, even though he's not in the game once again. But, hey, they just take the best drivers that are well suited for this. Series and say, yep, that's what they're aiming for, and just trying to make these 16 drivers close in competition, but make sure none of them fall way behind in pace. So, June 26, Eldora Speedway. Once again, that's Tony Stewart's owned racetrack, and he just wanted. This racetrack to be in the game also, so that's a good tra dirt track. And then July 3rd, Lucas Oil Raceway, which was formerly known as IRP or Indianapolis Raceway Park, and that's also a good game or good racetrack. And the trucks, the NASCAR trucks and NASCAR Xfinity Series used to race there, and mainly it's like a feeder series to the. Cup Series, with, in which they run at the big track at Indianapolis Motor Speedway, you know. And then July 10th is Slinger Speedway, and I never heard of this track, but if you go to Red 4424's YouTube channel, it'll be the world's fastest quarter mile track. You know? It'll go by real fast if you turn left and actually try to make a fast lap time on, on there. And then July 17th is the Nashville Fairground Speedway. So, as you can tell by this race track, they're in a, uh, they have been in the news lately, so they've been trying to borrow money from the federal government to improve the facilities and and while I if you do want the icebergs YouTube channel he showed a few fans that were disgruntled by the noise and you know especially the neighbors that live near the racetrack and they complained that if all the noise that distracts them like every Saturday night and they can't handle it. They should move to another state or another county because 
you know how serious these race fans are to want to have a racetrack at one of the more iconic tracks that was built in the 1900s, Asphalt's Fairgrounds. So I kind of like it being in the game because I never raced it when I was young, but it might have been in the game in the Papyrus days, so back when uh, they had trucks, Xfinity and Cup, but I can't remember right, right now, so that's not the important thing, so. Hmm. So, the second part, I'll put in a separate clip, so for the rest of the time being, you'll be seeing the 16 drivers that were confirmed in the game, and you'll see the rest of Red 4424's video clip, so. I'm AKA Happy Corona 95, and we'll have a great day and peace out.